A cleanup effort is already underway, and as always, the first to pitch in are those unsung heroes, Hollywood movie stars. This isn't the bad publicity. This is about cleaning off gunk. As a Golden Globe nominee, I just think it's our duty to make the real globe a little more golden. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and if you're like me, you spent the entire weekend waiting, hoping that we would get some direction from Hollywood uh, in this uh, terrible conflict going on over in the Mideast. Now, it's the only topic that's really dominating the headlines. I'm going to try to keep my normal kind of uh, lighthearted videos to give people a break from it, because if you're like me, you need that every once in a while. But... I thought this was pretty interesting in the backlash and the infighting. I mean, who doesn't know more than Hollywood people? Perhaps it's, uh, you know, prawn stars like Mia Khalifa, who also claims to know lots and lots and lots of things about what's going on in the Mideast. But I want to just kind of remind people who I am as, you, as we go into this coverage this week. Uh, obviously, we'll still be covering our normal stuff, but I, I hope that I'll earn your subscription. And even if we disagree that you'll stick around to tell me off in the comments and things of that nature. Uh, I live in America. I've never lived in Palestine or Israel. I don't know anybody who does. I'm sure I have viewers. I know I have viewers in Israel. I don't know about Palestine. I, I assume so, maybe, hope so. Um, but as an American who has seen the United States stick its nose in many, many, many foreign conflicts uh, in just my short 40 years on this planet, I'm inclined to want to stay out of it. Uh, this has been a battle that's been going on for like 100 years or something like that. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, the pictures we're seeing out of it, out of the events are obviously terrifying, uh, terrible, uh, but they're also meant to be evoking that kind of response from us. And as an American, you know, I see 100,000 of us losing the battle to opioids every year. Uh, I see something like 700,000 Americans homeless. I see uh, what can only be described as an invasion on our southern border going on every single day. Uh, there are innumerable problems in the United States, unchecked crime in most major cities. Um, now we've got one conflict going on in Ukraine that taxpayers here are funding. Now we're going to get into, I don't want to get into another one. I don't want to be giving money to Ukraine either. The world is a messy place and um, it's not always going to make you feel good. And it sucks, and uh, I, you know, I, I hope that it ends quickly and that civilians stay safe. But I don't think that the United States getting involved in this kind of stuff is good at all. In fact, what it does is it, it breeds more disdain and more hate for the, the United States in the Middle East that will lead to more um, things going boom in this country, in my opinion. Um, but my opinion is it pales in comparison to that of the Hollywood star, the uh, woman who got famous um, having men um, uh, give her uh, pearl necklaces on her job. Um, you know, these are the people that we need to hear from in times like these. You see Mia Khalifa, a woman who is banned from the Middle East, who had a fatwa, I believe, uh, declared on her for uh, doing her spicy videos while wearing a hijab, is now supporting... Uh, the uprising. Uh, you see, of course, Kylie Jenner putting that she stands with Israel. Quickly deleting that. But thank God Kylie Jenner told us. Now, again, if you're on Twitter or X or you, you might be in the comment section down below, everyone seems to be wanting to pull people to support one side or the other. I support America. Uh, I live in America. My family lives in America. And just like you who might live in Germany or the UK or even Israel or Palestine, you support where you live and where your family is. So that shouldn't be an offensive take. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think that, uh, you know, 
pulling people to support one side or the other. I think that's what people want you to do. I think that they'll show evoke images of kids like this and say, well, how can we not go to war? How can we not send more American kids over there? How can we not open America to more uh, retaliatory attacks? Look, look what happened in New York. I mean, um, it wasn't people from America that did that. Uh, well, some people believe that. Uh, maybe it wasn't, but you get what I'm saying. Um, you have Mia saying, decolonize that Oscar and give it back to the rightful owner. Uh, because Jamie Lee Curtis and um, I guess, I don't know who Samira Bolouf is. Um, look, I understand. I don't know if these people are Jewish. I assume they are um, because they're posting this stuff. But um, I understand if you're Jewish and you live in America, you make your living in America, you feel like a connection to your homeland where you're from and, and things of that nature. But I also have questions around, you know, people who maybe never even lived there, um, but, you know, are promoting warmongering, you know. Um, you see Jamie Lee Curtis putting, uh, you know, terror from the skies. And then you see here somebody posts the same picture saying, um, Palestinian families seek refuge with their kids in northern Gaza Strip. So the same images are, you know, being used to promote whatever people want to do. Whatever people want to say. Of course, you see this uh, Mia chick celebrating uh, urges Hamas to film in horizontal so she can see the things better. Madonna, Natalie Portman, Mark Hamill, lead stars supporting Israel. Uh, again, I'm not sure why Hollywood people think that their opinion should matter at all. Because then you get this, of course. Celebrities, including Kylie Jenner, Gal Gadot, fa face backlash for supporting Israel, while others like Zara Larson, don't even know who that is, are praised for nuance, nuance takes in conflict. Do you want to? Do you want to uh, take from a Midwestern guy who isn't, who probably doesn't understand nuance as well? Um, people have been doing this to each other, in, in particular over religious reasons, since the beginning of time. They will continue to do so until the end of time. In fact, I believe this type of thing may actually bring the end of times, okay? Um, feeling the need to rush over and get involved and post emotional things with, uh, you know, changing your flag bio. I mean, no, no bigger loser in all this than the Ukraine flag bio people on Twitter. But, uh, you know, you don't have to pick a side. You're here in America. You have nothing to do with this. Um, and you shouldn't feel like you have to, you know, give your kids up to go to war or give more of your money to another, a country that we've been supporting financially for years and years and years and years and years. My opinion, Israel can easily handle this themselves. They don't need the United States to be getting involved and creating more reasons for these small groups of people that are probably, you know, some percentage of them are pouring over our border in the South to be uh, activated here. I worry about my family and my country, okay? You can call that selfish, and that's okay. It is. Um, you see, influencer and fashion mogul Kylie Jenner, big brain, everyone knows she's super smart, found herself at the center of a social media storm when she shared a now-deleted post expressing support for Israel. That's the thing. I support the civilians. I don't support war anywhere, Okay. I don't support these, you know, people being paraded around town and, and women. What's happening to women is awful. I don't support that. Um, but I don't support escalating it either. You can, you can have a nuanced take on these things. The Instagram post featured around the Israeli flag alongside the message, now and always we stand with the people of Israel. Jenner's stance through widespread criticism. Many question her understanding of Israel's 75-year occupation of Palestinian territories. On social media wrote, Kylie Jenner wouldn't know where the Middle East is on a map, but, let, but is letting her 400 million Instagram followers know where she stands, that she stands with Israel. Now, the biggest groups of people you'll see supporting Palestine are leftists and Palestinians on Twitter. Okay, Palestinians make obvious sense. Many of these woke leftists might want to look at the local laws and decide which country they might want to throw their hat in with, but that's neither here nor there. Again, I don't live in Palestine. I don't care. I, I literally can't care. 
We can't be playing the world police. Israeli actress and Wonder Woman's child Gal Gadot, who's previously shown support for the Israeli army, was also criticized for her response in the latest bout. I stand with Israel and you should too. Now, again, this Gal Gadot is from Israel. I believe she served in their defense IDF. Okay, so it makes sense that she would say something like this. But Gadot's comment section has been flooded with users writing Free Palestine and the messages featuring the Palestinian flag emoji. Comedian, that's a stretch, Sarah Silverman expressed her concern for her, her sister, nieces, and nephews who have been protesting against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu's controversial judicial reform plan for months. Fight for a two-state solution, Israel and Jews and Arabs and all colors. Silverman also acknowledged that the nuanced complexity of the conflict before denouncing Hamas's mission statement. Of course, Mark Ruffalo um, saying, we pray for safety and pray for the safety of innocent people of Gaza who are being bombarded and besieged. I, I guess, you know, I, I just think that it's important to, you know, I, and I know I have an international audience, right? And I think it's, I just think it's interesting seeing a lot of people show their true colors. Um, especially like neocons and stuff like that and uh, different politicians who seem to be fr like Nikki Haley, literally gasming at the idea of, of a yet another war. Um, you know, I, I don't talk a lot of hard politics on this channel, but, you know, I think most of you know where I stand. I want to leave other people alone and I want to be left alone. It's extremely simple. Um, and I think that that would solve a lot of problems around the world. Uh, with America meddling. I mean, I live here. I understand. I know our government's constantly meddling. I don't like it. I don't want them to do it, right? I don't want them to get involved in this either. But I certainly know that I think it's important that we understand what Hollywood thinks. And of course, again, this is why you don't come out against one or the other because you don't live there. You don't have any real reason. I don't have any problem with Gal Gadot coming out and saying she supports Israel. She's Israeli. And she served in the IDF, and I'm sure she has family there. Okay, but when you're Kylie Jenner, Jenner or Mia Khalifa or Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe just like sit this one out. Maybe just, I don't know, consider that people don't really need to hear your opinion on it. And I say this as a commentator, obviously, um, but I, I just think. It's it's always the hot takes. I mean, if you look, I thought I saw this morning, like Mark Hamill, of course, you know, he doesn't understand or know that there are lots of people who support him that aren't, you know, Israeli. You see, he's trending. Yep, Mark, you're hanging with Sith Lords. Mark Hamill learns the hardware, how truly ugly his side is after supporting support for Israel. Do you, you have this situation where, again, in my opinion, like the far left generally supports Palestine in this. Again, reminder, I support America. I, I, I don't want any innocent. I want, I don't, I obviously I don't want anything terrible to happen to either civilians on either side. But you see, it seems like simple enough and accurate, as, especially after we saw on Saturday, you'd think this would be common sense even for the left. But nope, apparently his supporters are none too happy with him coming out in support of Israel. This is Mark Hamill. Free Palestine. This is not an appropriate use of force, Mark Hamill. Um, oh no, 4.5 thousand likes. Nah, top Lobster with nah. Um, the force is on the dark side with this one. Of course, you stole land from Native Americans and and not go to support Israel in ethnic cleansing right now. Now go, I mean, bad English, I suppose. Uh, massive Mark Hamill L. Many celebrities have not met the moment. I don't know why you think celebrities are going to have a nuanced take. I always think I always think it's a fun a fun thing when these idiots get eaten alive by their own side. Look, uh, again, to summarize, we'll probably be covering this a lot tangentially this week because I mean it's all that's going on. I will still be covering normal Hollywood news, but uh, again, I'm for uh, no wars. I've never been for war since I was since my first political opinion. I was always anti-establishment, anti-war, anti-censorship. That's how I was when I was 17. They used to call that liberal. Now, who even knows what that means? But uh, it's always funny watching them getting eat by their own. Luke Skywalker rooting for the Empire, wild times. Luke Skywalker just joined the dark side. Maybe just stay out of it and don't pick a side. It's pretty simple, even for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like on it. If you have yet, please do subscribe or follow down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.